So in this video, we will learn how to send SMS from MS Excel. Now suppose guys, you are adding some details of your clients, customers or leads in MS Excel and you want to send them an SMS message using Twilio. Now in this video, I will tell you how you can completely automate this process. So the trigger of this automation will be addition of new rows in MS Excel and the action will be sending of SMS using Twilio. Now guys, how you can set up this complete automation by yourself very easily. To know this, you have to come with me to my screen. So first of all, we'll go to our browser and search for P-A-B-B-L-Y, pavli.com slash connect. And after reaching to the landing page of Pavli Connect, by clicking on sign up free, you can create your free Pavli Connect account in just two minutes. Or if you already have an account, just click on sign in. So I will sign in to my own Pavli Connect account. And after signing in, we will reach to this All Apps page of Pavli. Here we have to click on Access Now below Pavli Connect. And as we click on Access Now, we will reach to Pavli Connect's dashboard. In this dashboard, we just have to click on Create Workflow and give this workflow a name. For example, I would like to name my workflow as MS Excel to Twilio. So basically both of the applications which we are going to use in this video. And let's click on Create. Now we can see that our workflow is open over here. And in this workflow, we have two different windows. First one is trigger window, second one is action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with our trigger window. So the idea here is first, we have to get the details or the data which we are adding in our Excel sheet or Excel workbook in Pavli Connect. So first we are going to connect our Excel spreadsheet with Pavli Connect and after that guys we will get the details or the data of new row of data which we are adding in Excel in Pavli Connect. Then after that using Pavli Connect we will send that newly added data which we have received from Excel to Twilio so that using Twilio we can send SMS to our leads to whom we want to send the SMS. So here in trigger window in choose app we have to search for Microsoft Excel. Microsoft Excel it is, let's select it. And after that, in trigger event from the drop down, we have to select new row in worksheet. After that, just click on connect and select add new connection. Now, as I told you guys, we have to connect our Microsoft Excel account with Pavli Connect. And to do so, we just have to click on this connect with Microsoft Excel button. And here in a new tab, it is asking us for the authorization permission. Let me select my Microsoft Excel account. And then it is asking us for the authorization permission. So guys, I have already logged into my Excel on Excel online sheet over here in my OneDrive account, Microsoft 365 account over here. That's why Pavli Connect has detected the same account. And we just have to click on yes and give it the authorization permission. And as we click on yes, we will see that our Microsoft Excel account will automatically get connected with Pavli Connect. After making this connection, the first thing it asks us is the workbook. And in the drop down below, we can see the list of all the workbooks which we have created in our Excel account can be seen over here. So right now I have four workbooks in my Excel account and out of all of these workbooks and from which workbook we want to get the new data. So I have created a workbook name as new lead in my OneDrive account in my Excel online account. So new lead, this is the workbook and I am adding the data, new data in this sheet, in this workbook. So we will select this workbook from the drop down, new lead. After selecting workbook, it is asking us for the worksheet. So here in this workbook, as you can see, there is only one sheet named as sheet one. So here from the drop down, we will select sheet one. And after that, as we click on save and send test request, the details or the data or response of the very first row, which is added after headings. So this is the row of heading and after headings, the data of the first row will be captured inside Pavli Connect. So let's do this. Here you can see that the first name of the person is dummy name. And this is the name of the person and this is the mobile number of the new lead to whom we want to send SMS over using Twilio. So we will get the same data in Pavli Connect. Let's click on save and send test request. And yes guys, we can see that we have received some response from Excel and when we will scroll this response, we will find the response is the details of that very same first row. So we have the same first name, same last name and the same mobile number which we have added in our Excel workbook or worksheet over here. 
So same details from Excel is now successfully captured inside Pavli Connect. So guys, the step one of setting up this automation is now successfully completed. After this, let's move to step two. And in step two, we have to send this same data, which we have received from Excel online and Pavli Connect. We have to send this same data to Twilio so that we can send SMS using Twilio to this person's number. Now to do so guys, we will just scroll down and come to this action window. And here in choose app, we will search for Twilio. Twilio it is, let's select it. And after that, in action event from the drop down, we will select send SMS message. Click on connect and select add new connection. Now here guys, we have to connect our Twilio account to send the SMS. Now guys, to get the make connect the Twilio account, we require the account SID and authorization token of our Twilio account. Now here you, must, here you must be thinking how we are going to get these details. Now to get the account SID and authorization token, just go to the home page of your Twilio account. This is the home page and here just scroll down and here we will find the account SID and authorization token of our Twilio account. Just copy this account SID from here, go to Pavli Connect and paste it over here. And one second over here as well. And after that, we go back to Twilio, copy this authorization token and go back to Pavli Connect and paste it over here as well. And after pasting it, just click on save. And now we will see that our Twilio account is now successfully got connected with Pavli Connect. After making this connection, the first thing Twilio asks us is the body of the SMS. That what is the body of the SMS which we want to send to our users. So here we want the body of the SMS to be started as hello and after hello i wanted to mention the name of my lead to name of the person to whom we are sending the sms so we have entered the name of the person in our excel sheet and we have received the excel sheet data in Pavli connect in our trigger window in trigger response basically so from this response we have to map this first name response of first name over here in this body of sms after hello and guys the process of mapping is very simple simply click on this field in the body of sms section and from the drop down, we can see all the responses which we have received from Microsoft Excel can be seen over here. We just have to scroll down to this responses and here we have the response of the first name of the person. Just select this response and this data is mapped. After hello, whatever name we will enter in our Microsoft Excel spreadsheet over here in this column, the same name will be sent on SMS to the person as well on their number. After name, I want my SMS to be Okay, so this is the body of the SMS which I want to send. So I want to send this SMS. So in this message, after hello, there will be the name of the person to whom we are sending SMS. Basically the name of the person whose details we have added in our Excel sheet. After creating the body of the SMS of your choice, it is asking us for the sender's number. Now here you must be thinking, what is the sender's number? So for sending SMS via Twilio, Twilio provides us a sender's number. And you will find the sender's number over your Twilio homepage below authorization token. So this is my Twilio sender's number. Just copy the sender's number from here, go to Pavli Connect and paste it over here. And after entering the sender's number, at last it is asking us for the recipient number. So guys, here in recipient number, we have to actually map the mobile number of the person to whom we want to send the SMS. So we have entered the mobile number of the person in our Excel sheet over here. And we have received the Excel sheet response in Pavli Connect in our trigger window. And this is the mobile number. So we have to basically map this same mobile number over here in this recipient number field. And the help text below it says, enter the contact number of the recipient. Example this. So basically we have to enter the recipient mobile number with plus sign and country code. But we haven't entered the mobile number in our Excel sheet with plus sign and country code. So basically what we are going to do, we are, I will just manually add the plus sign and 91, which is the country code of India over here. And after entering it manually, we will from the drop down, we will basically map the mobile number of the person. So this is the mobile number on which we want to send the SMS. And after doing it, let's just click on save and send test request. And as we click on save and send test request, we can see that we have received a response over here. And this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that a SMS message via Twilio is sent on this number with the same text message of which we have entered in this body section. So let's check the SMS inbox of this number. And yes guys, as you can see, we have successfully received an SMS on the number which we have entered over here. Basically the number which we have entered in our Excel sheet over here. 
So guys, this message says, Hello dummy, welcome to Pavli. You will be among the first to hear about new arrival, big events and new updates. Thank you. So guys, this is the very same message which we have entered over here in this body section. This means the automation, the workflow which we have created in this video is working perfectly fine. Now, every time we will add the details of a new person in this Excel sheet, automatically an SMS message will be sent to their number with this particular body and with their first name to that person. So guys, we have successfully created this automation. Now let's just understand in brief that what are the steps we followed while creating this automation. And guys, one important thing. So the connection between Microsoft Excel and Public Connect is on polling based technique, which means as you can see over here, every eight hour it is written. This means this trigger will check for new data in every eight hour. So every eight hour, Public Connect will check in uh, for new data in our Excel sheet. And then if there is any new data added in that period of eight hours, it will get the data and it will process it and send the SMS. So guys, first to create this automation workflow, first we have connected our Microsoft Excel account with Public Connect. And after making the connection, we have received the data present in our Excel sheet in Public Connect as well. After that, we have used Public Connect to send the data from Excel sheet to Twilio so that using Twilio, we can send SMS message to the people whose data we have added in our Microsoft Excel sheet. So not just these application guys, you can basically connect plenty of other applications using Public Connect. And guys, one more important thing, you will find the clone link of the same workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can clone the same workflow into your own Public Connect account and use this workflow for free. If you need any kind of help or have any queries, you can ask them on forum.pavli.com and you can check Pavli Connects pricing at this link. So if this video was helpful to you, you can like this video. Don't forget to share it with others and to keep getting such content on automation and integration, you can subscribe to Pavli. Thank you. Have a nice day.